In this video, I'm going to walk you step-by-step step through building and launching your own app using Emergent. And let me tell you, this tool is pretty insane. I'll show you how to craft the right prompt, how to integrate Stripe, and finally, how to actually publish everything on your own domain so your app is fully functional and ready to accept real payments. Now, whether you want to build mobile or web apps, you can use the exact strategies that I'll show you in this video to do it. Now first, if you want to follow along and get a 5% discount on all your future payments with Emergent, just click on the link down in the description. Now from there we can get started. So once you click on the link down in the description, you can then sign up for Emergent and from there you will get to the dashboard. Now here is the first important step. So right here we're going to add a prompt. Now there are some features here that you can go through such as attaching files and images, connecting to GitHub, choosing what you want to use, but most often it will just use the best model. They do have the 4.5 Sonnet 1 million context window, but this is only for pro plan users. You can use the exact same model just with a little bit less context completely for free. And Claude is currently by far the best LLM for coding, so I recommend just using Claude. Now from there for the prompt, I have already created a prompt right here. I recommend modeling your prompt after mine, since these usually work very well. So build me a full meal planning web app where users enter their dietary preferences, budget and goals. The app generates weekly meal plans, shopping lists and recipes using AI. Then include some features that you want to have included, such as user accounts, dashboards, auto-generated shopping lists, a public shareable meal plan link and more. Now what I could also do is say build a full meal planning mobile app. If I do that, then it builds a mobile app. So just do whatever you want to do, mobile or web app. Then I also said make everything clean, mobile friendly and ready to publish. Now if you upgrade you can make your app private, for now just keep it to public. And you have some advanced controls but you don't really need to touch this. So now just click on the send button and from there it will start building your app. Now there are some important things here that you need to do. First, it is going to create a quick scope of what it needs to build and ask you a question. So most often it will ask about four or five questions for what exactly you want to have built. And this is where Emergence starts setting itself apart from other tools such as Lovable. So for example, here it has asked me five questions. First, AI service for meal recipe generation. Then it asks, which AI provider would you prefer? And then you can use any of the most common AI models. Then it will ask for an authentication system. How should users sign in? Then it will ask for the AI integration. And what's also great about Emergent, it has its own LLM key, a universal key that is already available. So you don't need to go through the developer side of ChatGPT to find your own API keys. They just have one for you that you can use. Now for the payment integration for the pro plan, should they implement Stripe? or skip payment integration for now. I'm going to actually integrate with Stripe. Then the dietary preferences, any specific ones to include beyond common ones, such as vegan, vegetarian, etc. So here what you can do is just answer the question. So for example, at one, I'll say open AI, and I'll just go through these questions. Now, after you do that, you just want to click send again. And now that you have answered these questions, it knows what it needs to do. And now it is going to start building. Now, what's interesting about how Emergent builds, you can see currently says agent is running. So Emergent uses a multi-agent system where they have different AI agents that have different tasks. For example, right now it's probably the building agent, but later you will see a testing agent. You will see all sorts of different agents going to work that are specialized in different areas. So that's super cool. And let's just wait for it to build out the app that I can then show you. So it's a few minutes later and we can now see the preview of the front end website. But if we take a look right here, you can see currently it's saying testing agent. If I click on this, you can see exactly what the testing agent is doing. So it's checking the front end environment. It's checking if there are any existing test reports and create the back end test file. So basically it's seeing if everything is working and if it's not, then it will let the other agent know, which will then fix it. So let's just wait for this to finish up. Now, while you're building, you may run out of credits. Now, I've already built more apps with my free credits, so you will probably be able to build almost an entire free app, at least the MVP with the free credits. If you want to keep iterating, you may need to buy more, and then you will get a message like this. So it says, you've reached the free tier cap. Click on buy credits, and then here they have a few options. 
you can get the normal standard plan at $20 per month. This allows you to do mobile app development, private apps, and you get 100 credits per month. But if you get the pro plan, you also get the E2 agent, a 1 million context window, and you get ultra thinking, as well as the ability to build custom agents, a two times bigger machine, and of course, a lot more credits. So if you actually want to build the next big thing, you want to build a very successful app, personally, I would recommend going with Pro. If you just want to build something fairly simple, then you probably can get started with the $20 per month plan, or maybe even the $50 per month, 275 credit per month plan. Now for now, I'll just upgrade to 100 credits and click upgrade. And then here it will take you to checkout. Now, if you sign up through the link down in the description, then I think you will automatically get a 5% discount. But if it isn't applied automatically, Click on add promotion code here and enter code Dani and apply. So as you can see, that will get you the 5% off. So from there, we can go and take a preview of the app by clicking on the preview button right here. Now I've just bought some more credits, but keep in mind that everything here was built before I bought those credits, meaning all of this was built completely for free. So first here we get to the website. In my opinion, this looks beautiful. It already has the pro plan here. But if I click get started, it then takes me to Google sign on. But if I go back and just click on the main button, start planning your meals, it also goes to continue with Google. So let's see if it actually uses Google. So as you can see, I can actually choose my real Google account. So I'll just select one of my accounts here and click continue. So from there, it takes me to the onboarding questions. So first, dietary restrictions. Is there anything that I'm not allowed to eat? So let's say I want to eat dairy free, then I can select that here and click next. Then any allergies, so for example, I'll say peanuts and then click next again. Then the cuisine and budget. What cuisines do you enjoy? For example, I'll say Italian, Mexican, Mediterranean and Asian. And from there you can set a weekly budget. Let's say my weekly budget is $200. I can just add that and click next. Then the goals and servings. What is your main goal? I'll say healthy eating and let's say for two people and click complete setup. Now from there, it's really cool. If I click generate meal plan, if it actually does this, that's pretty insane because people charge hundreds of dollars for these kinds of personalized meal plans where it shows you exactly what you need to buy, what is healthy for you, and it keeps into account what you like in terms of cuisines and also what allergies you have. So let's just wait for it to generate a meal plan. So right here, you can see it actually created a meal plan. So you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and for every day it created breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So it not just created what you are going to eat, but also the recipe. So if you click view recipe, it shows exactly what goes in it. It shows how long it takes to prepare, how long it takes to cook and total, and it gives you the exact instructions that you need to take. So this is pretty insane and it's actually very helpful to have. Now, even more helpful is this right here, shopping list. So if I click shopping list, right here, I can see everything I need to buy for the entire week. So for example, I need to buy two tomatoes, I need to buy two cups of lettuce, two bananas. And if you've bought something, then you can just check it off. So you could just take this with you to the store. It even has a print button that actually works. If I click on it, it takes you to an actual printer right here that I can now click print and then it will print all of this out and I can then take this with me to the store. So this is super cool. But if I click back here, I have a few more features that I asked for. So for example, a share link. If I click on share, I'll just open this up in an incognito tab. You can see it also works here. Then for example, we have oatmeal right here. And I'll say I don't like oatmeal. If I click on refresh, it is going to generate me an alternative for this breakfast on Monday. So now as you can see, it says vegetable omelet. So this all works very well and it's just really cool to see what it has built and how well this all works. Now if I add a meal to my favorites, if I click view recipe and then click add to favorites, I can now find it up here under my favorites. Then one more thing, you can click on new plan in order to generate an entirely new plan the next week for example. And if we go up into settings here, we can also see the subscription. So currently we are in the free plan, but if I upgrade to pro, I get detailed calorie tracking, custom macro management and advanced nutrition insights. So if I click on upgrade to pro right here, it will then redirect me to Stripe. And from here, I can actually go in and make the payment. Now, what you can also do is tell Emergent, I want to integrate 
using my own Stripe keys. And if you send it that, it will then give you the instructions to integrate with your own keys so that you can take the payments. But there's also other stuff that you can do. For example, if I wanted to add a different feature, I could just tell it, add this feature and then it will build it. Now here you can see, please provide your Stripe API keys. Then it says where you can find it. And I just have to paste them and it will then do the rest. Now for the most fun part and most important part, this is going to be actually deploying. So if you go here to deploy in the chat, you can do a health check. So this is an automated code review to catch deployment blockers. So you can do this if you want, or you can click start deployment. Now here you can see it used a test Stripe key for my app. So I would need to add my real Stripe key, but here you can see deployment usually takes around five to seven minutes. So right here you can see if I want to actually deploy, I need to do the Stripe integration. So I'll just do this and follow the steps it sets. So Stripe dashboard, developers, and then API keys. So if I open up Stripe and sign in, and then here I could follow these steps or I can just search for API key right here. And then it says developers API keys, which is even easier. Then here I can create new keys if I want. So I need an SK test or SK live. So if I click create secret key and then building my own integration and then click create secret key from there, send verification. So the verification email will be sent. So then one more step is to add the authenticator code. And now I can give it a name. So I'll just name this one emergent and click create. And then it will give me this key, which I will then paste in right here. And now it says, perfect. Let me update your Stripe integration with your live API keys. So let's wait for it to finish. Now from there, if you want to go and deploy, it's super simple in the chat. What you want to go and do is just find the green deploy button. So right here, you can then click deploy. And then here, click start deployment. You can also run a health check first if you want. And from there, after you click start deployment, it then says Stripe integration detected. Just make sure you read the disclaimer and agree and then click deploy now. This will cost 50 credits per month, which isn't too expensive. That's about $10 per month for running your entire app. So if you want, just click deploy now, but I'm going to keep building out some more features. So this app is not yet done, but if you want, you can now just go and deploy it. And then you have a functional app that is up and running and that people can then actually use and pay for. So Emergent is really amazing and you now know how you can build a mobile or web app using it in just 20 minutes. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And again, you can sign up through the link down in the description to claim 5% off. But again, if it doesn't apply automatically for you, then at checkout, just click add promo code and then enter code DANI, all caps lock and apply. You can do this for all your payments to get 5% off. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.